The Oregon Humane Society has launched a game of cat and mouse, but here is the twist. They provide the cats. All you need is the mouse. KPTV's Julie Groward is live at the dot-com center to explain. Julie? Sorry, I couldn't resist the play on words, but we're talking about a computer mouse. Live cats, though, which as of 10 a.m. today will allow you to play with kittens in real time, living in a state-of-the-art robotic playroom. This is a look at it right here, and we have some more video we want to show you of it. The new system at the Oregon Humane Society is the only, it's only the second of its kind in the whole world. It allows anyone to, with an internet connection to interact with cats by logging on to OregonHumane.com slash playroom. Dave Lytle from the Oregon Humane Society says the purpose of the kitty colony room is to help save the lives of cats by letting prospective owners see them and get to know their personalities. Lytle explains how exactly this new technology works. And we've got three toys scattered around this room. And with a click of your mouse, in real time, these toys will start moving, the cats will start chasing them, and it's just like being in the same room with the cats. A Priori Control is the company that developed the software to make this possible. They donated it to the Humane Society, so this is free to use. But sometimes you will have to wait your turn to actually control the toys in the kitten's playroom, like that one right here. And right here on the website, there's also a chance for you to live chat with some of the other people waiting to play with the cats. And the, the camera kind of scrolls across the room. <laughs> and right now, there are 29 users in the queue, so your wait time's about an hour. But if you have the time, Lytle says that if you aren't a cat fan yet, you will be a cat fan after visiting this robotic playroom. Supposedly, it's pretty addicting. To check it out, head to kptv.com and click on the News Links tab. Reporting live from the Dot Com Center, Julie Grauert, the 4 o'clock news.